Jackie Cash and Laurie Kilmartin. Well, that was exciting. You guys, I don't know if you know that it's Max Fun Drive time. We'll talk a little bit more about it later. But right now, just know that it's that time of year where we celebrate Max Fund members and remind you that this show exists because people like you support it at the $5 a month level. So you can find out more and join at MaximumFun.org. And now let us do the Jackie and Lori show. Hello, Lori. Hello. This seemed like a good idea. That was short? Oh, weird. Okay, so sorry. Well, so let's just keep going, and then we'll just, uh, okay. We're going to start over? Yeah, I'm going to talk slower. So main pitch one is not what you should be reading, right? No, because... it's just 60 seconds after the intro music, before the show content. Okay, so we don't have any sample script for that? There's just example, that's what I just oh, the read. the opening one, the top one, okay. I could read it and then you could read it. There's yeah, there's a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome. Welcome. Hello and welcome. It's happening. It's Max Fun Drive. We'll talk a little bit more about it later. Now isn't later. Later is now. Now is well, but right now, just know that it's that time of year when we celebrate Max Fun members and remind you that the show exists because people like you support it at the five dollar level a month or more and you can find out more and join at maximumfund.org and it's with Jackie, it's a lot of new stuff Lori. everything can't be free okay <laughs> everything can't be free I, uh i know we, we're using this like gentle language and <laughs> Everything can't be free. I mean, uh, people have to eat and make a living and pay for their time. Come right. On. Come on. Yeah. Now. So and it's, it's for, like, and now TV. it's worker owned. Yeah. It's, 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 there are fascist podcast organizations. <laughs> okay. But this isn't one of them. This no. is like the good guys. You know, and whenever you go on Twitter and you see who's trending, it's like the bad people, okay? It's the shitheads. And this is a network of, I wouldn't say you and I are good people, but <laughs> people who strive to be good. Let, let it, speak good. for yourself. We're good people. Let's talk about comedy. <laughs> but it's the Jackie and Laurie show. We did it. Yes, we did. So I do stand-up comedy. And tonight I did stand-up comedy at the comedy store. Yeah. And how was that? It was actually uh, really fun because uh, the guy introduced me, you know, in the in the vernacular of the business, Lori. Let me just say he's a nice oh, enough no. guy. He's a nice <laughs> enough guy. <laughs> what do you mean? Did he call you a veteran or did he uh, uh, a legend? An icon? <laughs> he, he said that I was, uh, in his opinion... I'm uh, one of the best comics in the business and definitely the best female comic. Ah! And I just went up with like a Ken arrow through my heart. What and I was that? like, yes, I'm almost as good as some swing and dick that he likes. Uh, you know, uh, it, and so I it, started angry. <laughs> <laughs> the second podcast in a row where we have gotten horrible intros. And just a, just a weird that actually interfered with our sets. Well, and the good thing I got off stage and Carmen Morales was like, you should always go up angry and exhausted. <laughs> and I was like, well, I did come up with several new lines. Sadly, forgot to press record because I was tired mm -hmm. and um, had to sort of cobble together at least two lines that worked and, but pretty psyched about it. Could I ask did this guy? I'm so tired. Uh, when I consented to doing one at 1030, I was on the plane. and I Oh, what? Right, right, right. But now I'm just wiped. Now the, this is a, this is a callback the to the old days when when we used to, they'd, it'd come out Monday yeah. morning. And yeah. now we're a Wednesday drop. We could have waited till Tuesday. No, I'm tra traveling all day on Tuesday. Oh, wow. No. Okay. No. Yeah, yeah. So we only had tomorrow or tonight. Oh, um, right. But did you give the guy 
a, a regular intro and then he just went off. He did own. not ask. Okay. I tried to give it to him. I tried to right. stop him because he goes, you're next. And I was like, and gone. <laughs> um, but yeah. he, he thought, you know what? He did, he thought he was being flattering and he was sort of. So, I mean, I get it. You know, I've, I've, I spent 30 years, 30, 50 years mm-hmm. knowing what men were, what they meant. Mm-hmm. What right. men meant. That's the name <laughs> of my autobiography. <laughs> Oh my God. That's <laughs> and uh, so I got up and I tried a bunch of lines and I was like, I just, I did, you know, essentially just my, you love a callback. You'll be happy to know that the made of bees line mm-hmm. is called back through most of my, my next album will probably be called made of bees. Yeah, I'm sure mm-hmm. it should be. That's, that's mm-hmm. good. Um, glad to hear it. Uh, I was I, I did a I did a couple shows in DC and Virginia this weekend. Oh right, right. Here's yeah. My, so okay. So uh, on <laughs> Wednesday, I take when, Southwest yep. to LaGuardia. You yeah, you how were psyched. I was. Yes. Well, I'm no <laughs> longer excited because uh, so there was weather because we, we had a layover in Denver. So they're, okay. they're like, oh, there's weather. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Good. And this is oh, the well. last flight out. And then the next day I'm taking Amtrak to D.C. So I can't miss it. I can't get in late. I can't get in the next morning. You know? Yep. So, um, uh, so, uh, so, oh, so they, so there, it's a, like a real tight connection. It's like 20 minutes, the connection now because well, of the delay in Denver well. Airport. I'm like, this oh my is gosh. ridiculous. So I say to Gage, are, are, are they going to wait for us? You know, they're going to wait. Yeah. And he's like, nah, shrugs, can't, no help. Right. Right. So then right. I decide to spend uh, $45 to be in A1 through 15. Sure. So I can board early and get like, be right at the top of the plane, the front of the plane. So I can run right off the plane. So uh, I do that. I'm in the second Second, second seat, you know, I'm on the aisle. I'm ready to push old ladies over. I have people <laughs> are, know they need to clear because I'm. You really know how to build. For, You're building. It's, I feel the tension. Complaining for, for the entire flight. I'm asking the flight attendant in the jump seat. What's the gate? What gate am I, what gate are we coming into? And what gate do I have to go to? Cause I only have 20 minutes. Right. Like, over do you over. know that I have 20 minutes? Do you know? Are you familiar <laughs> with the idea that I have 20 minutes? Yeah. So everyone stood down because they realized. I was going to be in trouble. And, <laughs> right. um, so I get out, I run, I run through an airport as, as much as I can run. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Jackie, you know, my knees are, have decided yeah. to become elderly. So I, I don't <laughs> run. Okay. I swim right. if it was a pool and be fine, but I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm running. It hurts. Yeah. I get to the plane. They, we sit for like an hour waiting. People are trickling in. Oh no. All their flights are delayed. So I, I'm, I'm going to call JetBlue and, and try to get my $45 back because... Oh, Southwest. Don't call JetBlue. They won't give it to you. You know what? I'm very persuasive. <laughs> um, <laughs> call Spirit I, as long as you're calling. Because yes. did, you, did you hear the JetBlue Spirit merger fell, it's off. fell yeah, through? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. I get to LaGuardia very late. Uh, and now LaGuardia is beautiful and it's a very easy ride into Manhattan. It's so fast. It's Close. Nice, pretty cheap. Yes. Yep. Not like JFK where it's like you land Project. and then you have like another hour. Yeah. <laughs> you know, LaGuardia is like. It doesn't matter. Back if back. you had a helicopter, it would take another hour. It just mm-hmm. a, doesn't matter. Yeah. You could take the train, you could take a cab. It's an hour. Yeah. So, uh, so then I, uh, take an Amtrak to DC. That's nice. Okay. It's nice. Um, and then I do, uh, get, pull into Union Station, which is gorgeous. Incredible. Um, and then uh, I had a show at uh, this place called Bus Boys and Poets. Oh, you did it! I did it, Kim. Yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah, it was really fun. Good. It's funny because the the MC was like, um, you know, what's your intro? I'm like, I guess a long time writer for Conan and have a new special out. I don't. Yeah. I'm not giving people the title of the special because people shit their too pants. big. Yeah, 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 too much. Some people already know it because they've listened, but a lot of comics are just like, I, I what? Yeah. So, um. <laughs> 
and but then she, she I guess she read something about me and so she was she was a veteran and so she started talking about how I went to to Baghdad oh, after right. 9-11 <laughs> it was like really emotional it was very funny uh, <laughs> I'm like what's happening uh, but it was fine it was fine she was funny thank you for uh, your service Lori <laughs> yeah I was one of yeah I was like that I was like and I just it, like, do people know? I just want to get laughs. I'm not trying to serve anybody or help. Okay, <laughs> I just want to get laughs. Um, so that was fun. And then the next night was in Manassas, Virginia, which, uh, because of traffic, we Robert Mac um, uh, picked me up. He, he booked it, and uh, we had to leave like really early and get there. And uh, it was a winery, and it was fun. It was, um, it was, it was like you know, in a big big area so sound went up but with all the things that could have gone wrong it, it was actually a really fun show yeah and then, um so then i had tickets to see the, this play you, i was oh, telling you about right. tobias menzies is in this play called yeah. Hunt. i did no research i just saw tobias menzies and i'm like i'm so horny for that guy i got if i can see him <laughs> in a play like be 33 from him while he's acting oh my god so uh the, i got a matinee two o'clock so I had to switch my ticket on Amtrak to the 6.30 in the morning or 6.20 in the morning. Oh, my gosh. Morning. Oh, my Horrible. gosh. Because, of course, I didn't sleep because I was afraid I'd miss it. Right. And, and uh, so I was just awake all night. And then I get, you know, then I hit, go, go back to Harlem and then I change and then take the train down to Dumbo. The play yeah. was, <laughs> it's a lot. Okay. Um, the performances are great. It's What's it's it called? About, it's called The Hunt. And okay. it's about a man who's falsely accused of molesting a little girl. <laughs> and, oh my goodness. <laughs> and uh, there's, it was really well done, but I was the whole time. I'm like, Ick, I don't so care. Icky. I don't care. And the way I cared. I mean, it no, was no. just like, I just but like, yeah. ee. and, um, and then, it, you know, matinees have a lot of elderly people. Yep. And uh, you could tell a lot of them weren't prepared either. And um, and then when it ended, people were like, what? <laughs> like, it ended starkly. <laughs> and, and people seemed shocked. And then there was, like, slow clapping. Uh, and then the actors wow. got a separate round of applause. But it was... Uh, in, had yeah, I that sounds the play, in... I would have been mad that I missed it. But after I saw it, I was like, oh, I didn't have to see it. <laughs> <laughs> And then I had six spots at the stand last night. And, oh, um, my goodness. By the last spot, I was like, blah, 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 blah. like I, right? I, I couldn't talk. I was tired of everything. And it was like a, I had 1230 spot and there was like, you know, 30, you know, it's people that are out at 1230 on a Saturday night. They're different. Right, right. But from me. They really are. Uh, uh, yeah. Wow. And then, uh, you that know. That was your uh, week. Yeah, then today uh took the train out to uh JFK and then a six uh, plus hour flight back and watched two Holy Fears smokes. of the Walking Dead with my son. Mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. series just ended like three minutes ago. Like we didn't realize oh. it was coming and I was like, It seems like they're wrapping up. Everyone's driving away. And uh they were. So that I'm was really it. traumatized by the end of the fear of the walking dead. Uh but here I am. Available. To do a Max Fun podcast. Yes. And in a minute and a half, we could talk at length about how great it is to be with Max Fun. I saw yeah, Dune. I don't think yeah. you should sound so sarcastic when you're. Oh, no. I, that isn't sarcasm. That's just okay. exhaustion. I went for okay. a, I, I, I got a bike for Christmas and I went for my first ever bike ride I saw. Uh, outside of the neighborhood. Because I've been scared to leave the neighborhood because I don't know how to ride a as bike. You, as you I mean, I, be. I know how to there's ride a bike, but there, Jackie. right there's a lot of traffic. It's L.A. I don't know what I'm doing. So Andy's buddy Kevin is uh, he's a, a job job. He's a programmer for the E Network or some damn thing. NBC yeah. Universal. He's a um, he's, he's a muckety muck in the nerd world, and uh, and he's a really great guy. And he also coaches amateur. Uh, bike bike riding uh oh, teams yeah mm -hmm. and uh youth and uh so he said do you want to go for a bike ride uh this weekend and i said 
you would uh, you would you would coach me on this sort of take me on it's like yeah so we rode through residential streets until we finally made it to the bike path and then we oh. rode down the bike path and then there's a great wall on cold water in the valley on okay. cold water canyon in between probably burbank and magnolia there's about uh, two or three miles of the history of L.A. done in mural against the oh, the L.A. River. Yeah. Wow. And so it's just a big wall. It's very. And, and so we re- we rode along that. It was so there was some gravel riding there was. But I was about four miles into this thing. And I and Kevin was like, how you doing? How you doing? And I said, yeah, I'm getting a little tired. And uh, and he goes, well, because my bike is a pedal assist electric mm-hmm. bike. He mm-hmm. said, you should always use the pedal assist before you get too tired. Cause otherwise then you're just, you're going to use the battery up and you're yeah. never, and you're not going to exercise at all. So I turned it on, I put it on eco and it became much easier. And, uh, <laughs> and Kevin, you know, Kevin has, he has a pedal assist bike, but he was just riding his town bike. He has, he has like four bikes. He has like yeah. mountain bike and stuff. So mm-hmm. super fun. Anyway. That's what that that's what that's one of the reasons I'm super tired and not and so I wasn't excited enough about the max fun but now I am <laughs> now I'm super way? excited and let's quickly get into it cuz it's going to be I mean it's this only comes once a year this max fun pitch right right, right and right. it is really there it's it is the I think it's the best network podcast company in the in the in the biz as far as yeah. like giving there's back not, to their listeners, choosing the different shows. Yeah. There's not like any podcast where you're like, Ooh, right. Right. I mean, right. <laughs> oh my God. It's that guy from New Jersey. Yeah. Anyway. And so, <laughs> so yeah. So we all come together to invite you to support the show as a member. I'm mm-hmm. cribbing from the notes, but also every word I believe quite honestly. Yeah. So you can, uh, you can join as a member, you can boost or you could upgrade your membership and the membership pays for shows and that's us. And you get to choose who gets your contribution. Um, so if you choose the Jackie and Lori show in your contribution, that money goes directly to us. So that's what you should know. And, um, and it's, you know, the thing is, is, is it's great to have listeners and all this stuff, but when people do support any, any, any show, it just, it gives you a validation that what you're doing is worthwhile and the stuff is free. So for you to not support it at all feels a little grabby. So, uh, cool? if you could, I mean, you, <laughs> you, you know, we don't have any ads, right? I mean, we, we occasionally will have an ad, right? We used to, we occasionally we do an ad. It'll be like a, a food thing or a better help. Get some help you guys. So, yeah. but it keeps the, sh- it, every show means, it means every show's independent, right? Mm-hmm. And, and you can, the, and, and it's the show that we want them to do. And you, you're the ones who like the show. Well, let's not go that far, Jackie. <laughs> Right. Well, the thing is, it's not the show that no, anybody else wants us to do. That's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> but it's the show that you guys enjoy because it's the show that comes out of our pie holes or joke I, I, holes. I say you're supporting us and you're preventing us from going going right, going right wing, because we'd be <laughs> making so much more money if we took a right turn. I don't, I, yeah, I don't know. Every woman who's ever, uh, yeah. Maybe. Abandon our, our (laughs) listeners and our souls, right? Wow. Wow. (laughs) Let's, it's a, and so I'm, (laughs) how about stressing the importance of supporting art that you enjoy? How about that? We're making art you enjoy. We could make art that you hate and that horrible people enjoy. And True we're that. Not. We're so not doing it. Us. So let me, let's just say it. Let's just say it out loud. Will you please join as a member? If you are not a member, will you please join as a member? And I'm going to explain ways to join. You can join, you can upgrade, or you could boost your membership. As members at five bucks a month or more, You get access to the entire library of bonus content for the last seven years, I believe, and for all Max Fun shows. 
So oh. uh, the bonus content nice. this year, we just did it over Zoom. It. Pamela Walt did a did a 10 minute guesty, just yeah. came on Popped from the in, thread. Mm -hmm. And uh and we talked about things that we named we named some names. We bitched about things that we don't usually bitch about because it's bonus content, which means that there's yes. less of you listening. But there could bonus be more bitching. of you listening. You could all yeah. be listening for five bucks a month, is what we're saying. Yeah. And um yeah. Oh, I'm yeah, supposed to go into more detail about this in break number two about what exactly. Okay. You know. Just, just like, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of the pitch that everyone is pitching, you know, NPR or whatever, but, um, you know, if, if we give you an hour a week of pleasure, uh, you can, you know, as a dollar 25 an episode, is that, is that too much? You know? Yeah. That's not that we bad. You can't keep turning stuff out without having some compensation. And this is some compensation. There you go. And so let me just tell you, to upgrade, if you're already a member, you can upgrade your membership and receive uh, some cool thank you gifts. You get uh, the this year's pin. Right. Well, I'm supposed to let, I'm supposed to just knock these out then. Then let me just tell you that the pin is a mic stand. It's a real nice mic stand. And if you're already a member and you want to help a little extra, but you can't fully upgrade, there's an option to boost for by a few dollars or so. So this is really helpful if you've added new shows to the ones that you already support. You can pay, you can join monthly at $5 a month or more. If you'd rather get it all done at once, you could pay upfront for the year of support, which is, I like doing that quite honestly. When your year's up, it'll just revert to monthly unless you choose to pay upfront for another year. And then go to maximumfun.org slash join. And now let's get back into the show. Okay. Let's, let's talk about what I did. I love yeah. what you did. You did all kinds yeah. of things. And then That's I was tired on a bike. Um, are you sore? I, I'm not sore. Weirdly enough, not sore, but super tired. Also got another, uh, note from my doctor that I'm supposed to take some sort of drug, uh, for my cholesterol and I don't want to. So I'm on day two of eating healthy, Lori. I already uh, feel changed. Anyway, I don't feel changed. No, I feel take the drug. Take <laughs> Take You're, drugs. I know the city's full Please. of people that are anti. Is it a statin? Is that is that what you need yeah, to take? Yeah, that's what I, I need mean, to take. Jackie, those are going to keep us a lot of people alive, like ten extra years. You're going to be taking them at some point in your life. You Why know, start now? At eighty. What What if Why I pull out the air now? fryer and stick a sweet potato in it, and then make a sweet potato toast? Here's what I and think. I put avocado on it. Sure, sure, that's fine. I just think uh, getting, uh, dealing with food and whatever that is, that is for, for uh, a lot of women, I think you and me and a lot of women we know, that's like, that can turn into something else. It's not oh. like, let me just adjust my food. Okay. That turns into some emotional shit. You know what? If you want to, you know, eat. My eating food. is already, already emotional, but I should, um. What I, I'm excited don't, about. It's always, yep, go ahead. And I just say, don't put the pressure on the food. Take the fucking statins. They're not bad for you. <laughs> they don't have, uh, you know, side effects side and of, stuff like that. They just I heard, do well. They just do good. I heard about some side effects, but what? anyway. Um, Get over it, <laughs> Yes, the the biggest side effect that I'm worried about is that I won't be able to give Andy the six children he's wanted as I lurk lurch into my sixties. Um the uh I did uncab. I did the uncab at the Ooh, Nimoy Theater that. down by your, UCLA. Yeah. yeah, I saw your pictures. Yeah, it was um it was super fun. I went up first. Uh remember I just came off of doing 14 shows where I mostly went first. Right. And um I was like Part of me was like, why am I going first again? And then I forgot that it's uncab and it can't possibly matter. Laura yeah. Keitlinger said, are you going to bring your notes on stage? And I said, if Janine Garofalo has done anything for our generation, we get to bring notes on stage. So, Jackie, yes. I am anti-note on stage. Even at uncab when I'm working on Can brand I new stuff? Can I do something for the same generation? I'm the same age as Janine. Don't bring your fucking notes on stage. You're a performer. It's a I'm, show. No. I'm I'm gonna do it if I'm working on new stuff and you can't well, make me I'm, stop. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm just saying in general. I uh, oh right. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. 
It's only it's only as if I freak out in the middle of my set. My don't tell has me pulling my set list out. <laughs> Look forward to that, by the way. And then I did West Side Theater. Yay. Um, and he's paying with checks again. <laughs> I noticed that I got and <laughs> instead of a sweaty wad of twenties. <laughs> I like or, a sweaty 20. I like I a really sweaty do. 20. I really do. It's I found it in some bag of, I, I found it today, two days later. And I was like, I know. Oh, okay. Okay. I should probably they deal with this. Disappear into the air. Right. And then, uh, but I got to work on some other new stuff. I got to work on, you know, what's great about being in LA doing sets. I get to work what? on all of the stuff I want to work on. Mm-hmm. Like tomorrow night, this will, this will air after. We're doing the Jackie Laureate flappers. Yeah. And, um, and we'll, you know, I'm going to get to just try the things I want to try. It's going to be fun. And then tonight I did the comedy store and he introduced me weird. So I went up sort of not knowing what I was going to do. And I ended up riffing and doing a lot of lines. And Carmen was like, did you record? Cause there were a lot of new lines in there. And I said, I didn't. Maybe someone else did. And, um, but, um, the big news we got this week is that we're all doing after midnight, you, me and Maria. Are we allowed to say that? Yeah. It's on the, that's why I posted the picture of us on my Instagram Oh, I with a date. And Bruce told me to take it down. Well, he's in, is they, it's on the, it's on their calendar. We're supposed to sell tickets. We're supposed to get audience members. Ooh, okay, so let's, because we should do it now because we we are on April 3rd. Yep. Right? Okay, yep. guys, if you're in LA and you want to see us tape after midnight, go to the show on April 3rd. Um, yeah. We will, we will post a link, but you can also just email us too and we'll send you a link. But come to our show. Come to the taping. Yeah. Come to the taping. Kevin, my bike coach, is coming. Oh, cool. He loves After Midnight. He's been a fan of Taylor Tomlinson's for like 10 years. It's pretty great. Yeah. Uh, um, and we're doing it with Maria. With you Bamford. And Maria. That's did you so did you get that text from her from No. She wants us all to dress the same. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. That's what damn it, that's what Carmen said. <laughs> Carmen that's... said, no way is Kill Martin doing that. No, I'm not. And that's the version of uh, uh, I'm going to get to eat healthier and, instead of taking Lipitor. No, I'm going to wear what I want to wear. And I, I don't I don't like any of my clothes anyway. So this is going to be traumatizing for me. So, well, we'll get me, my stylist. Me, we'll get my right. stylist and she'll get three outfits for us that all coincide with each other. Maria's Super fun. A size four, if she's anything. I'm not going to I'm a size 40. Yeah, we're all going to... We're not going to look good in the same thing Maria looks good in. All right. Well, I thought it was funny. Uh, Oh, I think it's funny. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I can't wait to do it, though. Yeah. I know. If it was my fourth time or something, sure, I'd fuck around. But, yeah, not not the first time now. Just got to be. I I just... I've decided... I've I've taken to heart the thing you said that Marcella said about having fun and doing comedy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's, uh, that's where I'm at. And I hope, and I hope to, to have fun and, and do comedy, but I'm psyched. It's going to be you guys. Cause it'll be fun. It will be, but I, you know what, what if we get really competitive and start to try to crush each other? That, that would be uh, <laughs> Wow. Then you're going to win. Cause you're the <laughs> only one who's going to get competitive and try to crush anyone. <laughs> oh, you're not going to get competitive. Jackie Cash is not going to try to alpha her way. Elbow me and Maria in our ribs as she's headed towards first place. Taylor Tomlinson has said this out loud. This is a comedy show that pretends it's a game show. I there know. is no game show. There's nothing to win. Maria won supposedly uh, Tom Brady's underpants. And uh, I texted her afterwards and I said, they didn't make you take those underpants. And she said, no. But they so, were available to take? I doubt it. I doubt it. They would, I ass- If they were real, and they might have been. Mm-hmm. It was Super Bowl Sunday she did it. Um, oh, yeah, that's I, right. I hope that they auctioned him off to someone who gives a hot fucking damn about Tom Brady's underpants and then gave the money to buy a school bus for someone in Guatemala uh, or sure. Van Nuys. Yes. <laughs> um, 
yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, straight men who care about Tom Brady's underpants. Right. Some who doesn't want a Tom really Brady boxer brief? Yeah. Zoned in on him. <laughs> um, you said yeah, zoned. So that, yeah. <laughs> so uh, is that bad? No, it was because it was a football oh. thing. I thought it was. Oh, I thought I it might have been a football ah. thing. I'm the. This is the dub. This is the worst gathering of people to care about. That that's going to be a thing. It's. I uh, am so tired that I. Uh, if I'm making if I'm making jokes that make logical sense, it's a pure accident. And it's I don't just a. Right. So we're doing flappers, and then I'm going to do yes. the bark. I'm doing Van Sanders bark. With Nate, with Nate Craig, who I like Nate Craig, and then I forget mm-hmm. who else is on, but that'll be super fun. Um, yeah, I, this week, I am in, uh, uh, Wednesday, I'm in Chicago. The day this drops, I'm at the Lincoln Lodge. And if you are in Chicago or you are within, I'm going to say, 100 miles. Yeah. You need to be at the Lincoln Lodge at my yeah. 7 p.m. Yeah. That's it. That's, That's it. it. That's what I'm telling you. Um, and then... Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'm at uh, Acme in Ann Arbor. And no, no, you you're at the Ann Ann Arbor Showcase, aren't you? Sorry, yes, I'm tired. Listen, it's uh, <laughs> it's on Kilmartin.com. There's yes. a lot of A's. Right. I'm at uh, the Ann Arbor Comedy Showcase in Ann Arbor, and um, uh, try to go to Zingerman's for lunch. I will because it's gonna, it's right there I mean, too. I have lunch with uh, somebody, so yes, I will. Well, there you go. Having a social moment. Good for you. Yeah. I'm doing on Saturday. I'm doing a benefit at the new ice house. I've never been to the new ice house. So oh. yeah. And it's yeah. like an afternoon show on a Saturday, 5 PM. Okay. For okay. Uh, Vargas Mason, who was uh, the guy I went to Africa with yeah. and, uh, and he broke his knee. And then I was just with Alicia Cooper and Felicia Michaels, uh, not Felicia Michaels. Um, April Macy, uh, Alicia Cooper and myself yeah. were left to wander the Middle East without a headscarf yeah. between the three of us. And well, then, yeah. Is Vargas okay? Is the benefit for him or something? No, the benefit's for somebody else. He, but he's, okay. but that's, uh, people might know him from the bit I do about yeah. he, how him with the dog and breaking his knee. And then on Sunday, I'm doing some, uh, max fun thing. I'm doing a max fun stand up uh, show. Um, and that's at 3 PM on Sunday afternoon. Um, and then, yeah, it's, there's, I'm doing some Dana Gould show too, but that's, I think that's somewhere, somewhere else. That'll be great. I think it is at the dynasty. Um, yeah. Uh, Ben, there's a vast desert of no road work for me after this week. Me too. Well, I, uh, you know, like, it's so weird. Like, we're about to be on, like, the most sought-after show right now. And then we have right. no work right afterwards. <clears throat> what the fuck is his business? Right. I talked to uh, Moon Tower, and she's, I was like, she was interested in bringing us to do oh. sets and, and the and the thing. And it's actually two, a week or two after, um, after midnight. It's, okay. it's in mid, mid, mid-April. So it it might be a fun thing to plug on after midnight if we got to do uh, either Moon Tower or Cap City. Yeah. Yeah. Would it, does a, would a club like a little plug? Mm-hmm. On after yeah. midnight. Yeah. And uh, I I, I also so... tried to book one night in Milwaukee. Oh, where? In May at the Laughing Tap because Neil Hamburger had the Thursday Friday. Mm-hmm. So I was like, well, I could do the Saturday. And, um, may or may not work out. It's, uh, didn't sound like, uh, like it was. I just, uh, I'm, I was talking to somebody about just sort of the, the grinding it out with the door deals and trying to make, make it pay for itself and make some money and come home. And, um, and people are doing wineries. <laughs> they're oh, yeah. doing, yeah, they're doing the, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of shows to be had to be done. It's um, just getting them. Like I, you know, there are all the. There's like an explosion of people that are headlining. Now I yeah. don't know that they're all headliners, but they uh, they're taking they're taking a lot of weeks. 
And yeah, uh, Molly had to give me a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at the punchline. Wow. And there's this, there's a weird clause where I can't work 90 days after. And, after. but yeah. the Friday, Saturday is open. <laughs> right after the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Right. In, um, in San Francisco. I might actually ask the Savage Henry guy, maybe. Maybe he wants to bring me up as long as I don't have to stay in. Remember when I stayed in the condo and I got that rash all over my body? In Eureka? Yep. Yeah. Eureka, I discovered a rash. And <laughs> it's in Humboldt County. And so the 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 condo, mm -hmm. the accouch the like the amenities mm -hmm. was like a flight of weed mm -hmm. and a bottle of uh vodka in the in the freezer. So I'd prefer to stay in the Hampton Inn across the street of course. from the club. At all just, right, I'm just like panicked right now because it just feels like, uh, like I thought oh, I would have, it would be a little easier to get work now, mm. like having had a special out or, you know, and it just feels as hard as it's been ever since COVID ended. You know? Well, I was talking to this person about doing all the wineries and the door deals because I know that she had been doing them for some time. And let me try and type something. And um, it's it's in the chat of the Zoom. Oh, right, right, right. So, um, and I said, so is it now that you have kind of a system, is there a template and you're, you're kind of hitting it easier? And she goes, no. No, still a grind, Jackie. Still a grind. Still just make break even sometimes. But some sometimes I make a lot of money. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm still, I'm not at the sometimes I make a lot of money. I don't have that. No. But I talked to her, I talked to her like two weeks ago and she's like, I'm quitting this business. Oh, hilarious. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Um, no, she's yeah, good. It's just, um, there's not, there's comedies very popular, which is great, but, um, uh, that means there's a ton of comedians and mm -hmm. there's a ton of people that are filling rooms, whether they have an hour of good material or not, it does not matter to clubs. Right. And so it's, um, it just, it never stops being, it, 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 there are people who have, they just hit a, a level and it's easier mm -hmm. to get work. They're turning down work. Right. And I've never had that level ever. No. No, I don't know who those people are, but it's every, it, well, like it get, you know, there are people that are selling at the beacon. It's just uh, tons of comics are uh, they're They fill rooms because of, um, they've had luck, you know, success on, uh, TikTok and Instagram. And, uh, some of them are real comics and some of them are like new to comedy, you know, right. I'm just saying there it's taking up, it's, you know, the we're always fucking fighting for yep. work. Yep. It's exhausting. It's genuinely exhausting, but I just gotta, I don't know how to not to, to some extent. Right. I just gotta keep plugging along. Uh, yeah. So. Yay. Should we do comic of the week? Yes, we should. Yes, our comic of the week is Katie Boyle. Katie Boyle. Um, she's super funny. I've been watching a lot of her clips lately. Um, oh, yeah. She's from Ireland and she lives in New York now. And um, did she work on that Aparta show? Have I met her like 15 times? Did she do Butter Boy? Does she do Butter I don't Boy? Know. I'm sure she does. Okay. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, she talks about being Irish. She's. Um, uh, you know, very funny observational comedy and, uh, you know, clever and smart. And, uh, I like her a lot. Katie, Boyle. Katie, this is exactly who this is. For some reason, I recognize her. Look at that. I recognized yeah. a person. Right. Um, Yay. yeah. So her, her, uh, her Instagram bio, by the way, has okay. don't tell comedy just for laughs. And then she says, I'll do it myself. Comedy special. And sign up to the email list. And um, yeah, so she, yeah, talk about grinding it out. She's great. She's smart and funny yeah. and just so good. Katie Boyle. Yeah. What's it's the so handle? It's Katie Boyle Comic. Yeah. Katie yeah. Boyle Comic. 
easy enough. Yep. Good for her. <laughs> I'm back in my depressed mode. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. We're this where okay. this where the big money comes. Do you want to read this one? Okay. okay Pitch okay. number two. Number two, guys. All right. Pitch number two. I know you're like, oh, pitches. Guys, it's us. You like us, so listen to us pitch, okay? <laughs> um, Max Fun has a library full of special bonus content you can enjoy from all of your favorite Max Fun shows. So, yes, we do a bonus uh, podcast yep. that we resent, and we put it up <laughs> that you can listen to. But all the other podcasts love to do their bonus podcast. That's the good thing is you can hear they people really do. The extra hour they put in that week. Um, right. So, I've been on at least know, two be... other people's podcasts for bonus content. <laughs> yeah. Don't be deterred from our attitude. <laughs> um, it's they have a massive library and some of them are uh, team ups uh, from Max Fun hosts and other are and other Max Fun hosts and guests and special guests. And they do interesting topics and extended versions of the episodes you get access to the entire library of bonus content. So every single Max Fun show, you just join at five dollars a month or more. Uh, you're it's a, and but God, always or more. You know, <laughs> five is a baseline, but you can always or more it. And we just want to remind you, <laughs> it's strictly about yes. valuable. This is an incredible value. We're excited for you to enjoy this year's bonus content from us. What was our bonus content? We had Matt, Pam come in and uh, right. It was just was an it? extra hour of just us really oh, pretty I, pretty yeah. well rested and cheerful. Come on, you guys. That's Definitely. bonus contact alone. The fact that we no were yawns. pretty cheerful. <laughs> yeah. It was during the day. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh, and then I complained about some uh, redditor who went after me for posting something on uh on, in the stand up forum. Uh something helpful. They got mad. Right. People have always enjoyed our bonus content and you will enjoy our new bonus content as well as everybody else's. It's uh, I don't know. Does uh, if the bonus content has a comment section, I wish it would please email me, Jackie at Jackie .com, Any sort of what you thought about last year's bonus content. Cause I remember. Well, don't contact me with your thoughts, um, <laughs> but why don't you short, Direct ask. Why don't you do a short direct ask there, Lori? Will you please join us as a member? And then say something from the heart. <laughs> well, my heart says, you know, um, again, uh, we, we show up every week. We hardly ever skip weeks. It, literally a parent has to die for us to skip a week. We're Ooh. always here. And um, it would be nice if you were always here as well with your. And know time. that I'm the only one with parents. So Lori just wished upon that. So there you go. That's the next time we're well, going to take a break. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I did not wish that upon you, but, um, no. but yes, I mean, we won't be taking a break until a terrible thing happens. And I'll, and so. I'll tell you this is I was told, uh, over over the weekend that by several people that this is a great resource that they use for information about stand-up comedy so if you could support that if you're using it as a resource resource please, please yeah. donate and um and know that that resource uh you are rewarding us for being that resource we're uh I, what are we are we uh treasures what are we are we <laughs> <laughs> what, what what have you uh, you're the best female comic I was, in the city that's what i hear <laughs> right uh he said country and almost Whoa. the best comic in the country but not oh my goodness yeah oh it's goodness. it's gonna be hard it's gonna be hard so there you go mm -hmm. so, but member support is key it, it, it keeps us going and um it's all it's all it is yeah that's all it is so go to maximumfun.org slash join and thank you very much. I mean, it's a yeah. volunteer thing. What if Max Fund just decided to start charging you? Like, it's behind a paywall? Oh. You guys would be pissed. Oh, you guys yeah. would be pissed. Now That's they're just it. saying, hey, we're asking for this little bit. Right. If it were behind a paywall and then we got paid because of that, you wouldn't be hearing this. But instead, just once a year, we go, hey, no paywall. Yes. Throw some True. cash at us. And then you could pay yearly or you could pay monthly. Do as you will. But please give.
Yeah. Oh, sorry, Jackie. That's fine. I um, stop yawning. I'm I know white. it's a lot, but uh, let's see. Um, other than that, I I do go to Vegas again at the end of next week. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm home for another week and a half, picking up sets, doing doing as many sets as possible. I assume. Mm-hmm. Um, hanging out with the mama. She's off out of the hospital, back home, mm-hmm. and she's getting better. But she's also, you know, aging. Fragile, <laughs> so frail. Yes. pretty frail. So we got people, and um, and we spent the day. I we both. Uh, I retaught her backgammon yesterday. And I relearned uh, backgammon. We played a little backgammon. I'm going to tell you that I won two games. Two out of three. <laughs> See, uh, you're going to bring that energy to after midnight and it's going to get ugly. I can sense it already. <laughs> <laughs> and then that. today I broke out the air fryer. Because um, Chris enjoys a baked potato. Uh, I'm unmoved Ooh. by a baked potato, but the air fryer will bake a potato in 25, 35 minutes and no preheating. With a nice hard uh, skin? Uh-huh. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. D- did it, did your Irish heart hour. just just go? Yeah. Yeah. I love, I love a It's St. Patrick's Day potato. today, by the way, the day that we're recording this. I wore a green mask on the train and... Um, Do you get anything? Yeah, I oh yeah, I got laid on the train. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, I'm getting it all the time. I wanted to know if you had gotten any sort of a happy St. Patty's Day for the green mask. I didn't assume that you had gotten laid. And then all of a sudden you whipped out a green condom and a four leaf clover. And I just went, uh, I, I can't do an accent. So I did post a picture on Instagram of my Irish mother uh, with my Armenian father. Aww. But when they were Aww. easily 17 and 16 years old, Holy I think 18 and 16, God. seven. Yeah, I think they were 18 and 17. So I, I think they were illegal, Jackie. Now that you I think it? they were like they were 17 and 16 when they met. Well, she got pregnant uh-huh. when she was 16 and then he joined the Navy. It's a very romantic story. Um, it's a I, very common yep. story of that era. You know, I heard a great drunk story yesterday mm-hmm. about someone Are talking about I'm not in it. Thank you. Mm. Uh, it was about a guy who uh, went to the pay toilet and he was so drunk and he didn't have any change. So he climbed underneath the um, the stall. Yeah. And I remember climbing underneath stalls, not remembering <laughs> how filthy and disgust, not even thinking how gross it was, right? Yeah. And, um, so, and, and why did you climb, uh, crawl underneath stalls? Cause it was locked and it was the only stall. Okay. But I was also probably drunk, but my favorite part of the story is he said, and then I, and then I slithered out. He said, it didn't even occur to me that since I was in the stall, I, <laughs> you could, I could unlock the stall and walk out like a person. Ah, uh, you guys, that was my, that was the funniest, uh, regular person telling me a story this mm-hmm. week. So, um, a terrible tale, uh, at the winery, there were two women there who had seen me 20 years ago. Oh, really? And they had one of, they had, they had my key shirt. They couldn't, find, they said, she said, we oh. lost it, but <laughs> you know, I used to sell those. Yeah. 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 Oh, they were baby dolls. They sold like hotcakes. Ah, kill Martin Sheen. That lady lives. <laughs> that lady lives. It's, so uh, to, she's going to come see me in 2044. So we've already. <laughs> you made. Calendars. And that's your next date. That's your next book date. Yeah. Sadly. Mm-hmm. Uh, in yeah, 2044. Basically. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And um, so other than that, I don't know. I know we're at 50 minutes or 49 minutes, but uh you writing anything? Really? You reading anything good? Oh, I know. I did two Dork or Forests today, which is one of the reasons why I'm super tired. Yeah. I, I spent some quality time with the mama and then also yeah. did two Dork Forests and rode nine miles yesterday. So hang on a That's second. That's incredible. Hold on. I finished reading this book. 
Free Food for Millionaires. Did I tell yeah. you about this already? Uh, by Min Jin Lee. She, already, she wrote Pachinko, which is supposedly great. I haven't read it. This yep. is great. Free Food for Millionaires. It took me a really long time to read it. Yep. Jackie. I'm so sorry. The dog will for... not stop. The dog will not stop acting up. So, oh, that's bring the dog other... in your lap and let me talk to. Is it yes, Gordy or Tyson? It's Tyson. Tyson. Hello, Tyson. Tyson. What are you doing? There's Tyson. I'm talking about literature, Tyson. <laughs> this is the one that likes Kyle. <laughs> 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 what would you like to say? Talk to me about this book you're reading, Lori. Well, I finished it. I'm, I was bragging that I finished a novel. I've, I've started so many and then not and not finished them that I was pretty happy that I finished one. Uh, I watched Rustin uh, when I was flying. Oh, it's yeah, yeah. great. Coleman Domingo from Fear of, amazing. Um, I watched. Uh, I, I'm watching this something called El Conte, which is. I think it was nominated for an Oscar or something. It's a Chilean movie. It's like this crazy fantasy movie where um, Pinochet, General Pinochet, yeah, Pinochet, is a, Pinochet is a uh, is a vampire. Oh, so it's a documentary. Uh, what <laughs> it's a been alive monster! Since, uh, the uh, the uh, French Revolution. It's really weird and good and strange. It's black and white. It's in Spanish, of course, but. Uh, I recommend it. It's on Netflix. I downloaded it. Um, okay. Yeah. Can I tell you this? That the the Dork Forest that I did today were both um, sort of TV related, though. And get this. Today I talked with, it was a young co a comic named um, Ahmed uh, Al-Khalidi. -Ka Khalidi, I think it was. And he um, did a Dork Forest because he has... Uh, um, his dorkdom is anime, and I knew what Crunchyroll was. I yeah. felt like I was part of the team. Yeah. And he was, and he, uh, he recommended something called Demon Slayer. Oh, I love Demon Slayer. It's and <laughs> he said the next time he works with you, and he has worked with you, um, he's gonna there. You, he's he's gonna go down an, an anime, uh, t twisty with you. And um, and the other one was about um. There was a volleyball one. He talked about five different shows. Wasn't, and that wasn't, it wasn't the soccer one, Blue Lock, was it? No, it was called Haiku, I think it was. And it was about volleyball. Okay. Right. And um, and then there was a superhero one where the one kid doesn't have a quirk. He's the, have you, you know, that one where. Um, uh, my kid would. You would. I yeah. And yeah. Um, I was telling him how great it was that you had a kid who was 17. So you were going to have references for the next 10 years, 15 years <laughs> yeah. as your son's age gets into 35. You know, I got so much street cred when I, when I did my portal reference, it was like the cake is a lie. I would just yell out sometimes. And, uh, and we just, I would just get all kinds of cred for that. It's much, it's much better than my Nathaniel Hawthorne set. Nobody wants Definitely. to hear about my Nathaniel Hawthorne uh, chitter chat. <laughs> So, uh, and then the second one I did was about a show that is, I think it's on HBO max, which I refuse to just call max. Uh, and it's our flag means death oh, yeah. and it's uh, the flight of the concords. He's, yeah. He's Darby and, uh, uh, Taika Watiti. Yep. And, uh, did you get yeah. to see it? I started it and then I, I dropped it, but I loved what I, I just wanted to make sure I knew what it was, but I haven't, I didn't like two yeah, seasons they have max yeah. did not pick up a third season yeah. and the fan base has gone banana land because mm -hmm. it takes place in pirate times but it addresses every sort of socio political yeah. gender sexuality consent yeah. like all of these things yeah. and um but they set them in the, on, on a pirate ship <laughs> It's really cool. Yeah. I got, I got so those are the next two yeah. episodes. And it's with two comics. One, Kristen uh, Lighty, who has been a comic of the week. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And and Ahmed uh, is next week. And um, and those are two good dork forests. And then I've got a couple other dork forests sort of on the, on the hopper. You know that Anna Valenzuela goes to, uh, she loves a community college and has lived in several towns in California and we'll just take advantage of the community college system in in I California. I should be doing that. 
I should, yeah, we should Wendy all did that. Wendy Posey like learned podcasting and audio during during COVID. These fucking comics that got shit done during COVID, I want to stab you all in the eyes. Okay, <laughs> we did. We did like four or five Zoom shows a week. I mean, like learning a new thing. <laughs> I mean, like, you know. Not working on your craft. That doesn't count. Right. So sorry. <laughs> That's uh, so be it. <laughs> right, right. I did. I wrote my, yeah, I worked on my special oh, and then was able true. to get it, put it up. So, but I, I agree. I would like to, uh, like, I'd love to take Latin for no reason, except for that. I'd like to learn Latin. Yeah. It's not going to help me in any way, shape or form. It didn't help me for the first five years I took it. I wasn't good at it. And if I took it now, it would help me probably slightly more or exactly the same amount, which is nothing. Oh. Oh. I uh I can't wait to do the show tomorrow night though, and I'm I excited. yeah that you guys made it, and I think I am bringing my merch. I'm pretty excited about my new merch. New merch, but you guys. I that's right. That I am probably going to be doing for at least another year. So the so. the new merch got delivered. I think so. There is a box, and uh, oh, you box. it didn't get delivered in time for the DC gig. No, I had it. No. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, why should I have any extra income whatsoever? I know it. Yeah. I know it. Well, here's the thing. Uh, I want to leave early. So what I'd <laughs> like to tell people is that if you've never been a Max Fund member, try it out. It's five bucks a month, which is less than a buck and a half a show. And enjoy the bonus content. There's so much freaking bonus content. If you need to stop the voices, listen to all of the great podcasts that are on this, on this network. Start our voices. <laughs> yes. Uh, if you're already a member and you'd like to support a little bit more, we'd certainly appreciate you upgrading your membership or even boosting it by a few dollars a month. Uh, if you could do it, um, Please do it now before you forget, right? Because the thing is, yeah. is you're going to hear this, but you're also listening to it. Pull out your phone, go for it. Uh, there's several cool thank you gifts you can check out when you head to the maximumfun.org. And you can only get them for the two weeks of the Max Fun Drive. That's the crazy thing. Oh, they're and not for sale later. They're not for sale. They're not even, you only get them during the drive and that's it. So uh, one of those is that collectible pin representing our show, which is mm -hmm. a mic stand. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And you can see it on our social media accounts. And when you go to MaximumFun.org to join or upgrade your membership, you'll see the pin. Um, I have yet to get a, co a copy of that pin, but, I, but do it. You guys, MaximumFun.org slash join. Yeah. 